Well, hello everyone, Major Frenchy here. Welcome to another exciting virtual pinball episode. At uh, this time around, I'm going to show you how to change the boring uh, orangish type of color of DD to a colorized DD if it's already been made. If it hasn't been made, then you can actually select uh, a different color for your DMD, which actually makes it nice. Stay tuned. Let's start with a really nice guide that was created by Rajo Joey. Thank you so much for making this, taking the time to get all the information in one document that's going to be helpful to people. After you followed what I did, if it's not working uh, or if you got some issues, uh, this is going to be a very good resource for you. And I'll have the link in the description below. All right, let's go in VPIN main and we're going to run setup.exe and uh, we're going to click the setup default. And in here, make sure that use external DMD DLL is selected. And also colorize DMD for color. Then we're going to select that and click OK. Um, now, once you've got that, we need to download the colorized DMD. Uh, there's about, I don't know, 60, 70 uh, that have been made by, uh, by folks in the community. And I thank you guys so much. And for that reason, I'm going to click that little heart. And uh, I'm going to download this file on my computer. This is for Attack from Mars. And the format is a .pac. I'm going to go in Visual Pinball, and I'm going to select VPIN Main. And in VPIN Main, I'm going to create a new folder called ALT Color. In this folder, we need to put the folder name for the ROM of the game. So we need to find the ROM for Attack from Mars. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. The first method is using Pinup Popper. So in the pinball pinup system, and you're gonna go in the pop videos, every time you load a game, it creates its own folder based on the ROM. So that's a quick way of finding it. The second method is um, by looking in the script of the game. So you load the table uh, and you click on the script icon. And then in here, you're gonna do a control F and then you're gonna look for game name. Here in blue, AFM underscore 113B, that's the ROM for Attack from Mars. And I'm going to create a folder with that name in the alt color folder. Now, two methods to use a colorized file, and this is the old way. I still use that. Uh, it's the .pal and then the .vni, and you put that in the alt color folder and you load the table and it will actually have the uh, dmd just like this so now it's colorized it, it's not the boring orange uh, a lot of work is being put in colorizing these dmd make sure you just send your regards to people that are making them Now, if you use the pack file, you saw I downloaded one earlier. Uh, this is the process to run these pack file. So on VP Universe, lucky one. Thank you so much, man, by the way, for all your work. It's much appreciated. He's got a good guide here. I'm going to have the link. And you're going to download this file. And uh, where I'm going to show you what to do. It's going to be a zip file that we're going to extract. And opening up the folder. Um, it's going to be the XAA86 that I'm going to pick. Select all this. And uh, basically, you're going to paste this in your VP MAME folder. Uh, when you do so, you're going to be prompt with overwriting files. That's fine. Now I'm going to take the pack file and copy it in the AFM underscore 113B. And now we can just launch VPX, Attack from Mars. And we're getting the colorized DMD. If you right click on the DMD, uh, you can actually save the position for that game. 
You can save globally or just for that game. I'm going to select save position for just a game. And we're going to edit dmddevice.ini. And look at the bottom. This is the settings for attack from Mars. And with the basically the uh, screen location. And also, if you want to use a registry, see here it says false. But if you set that to true, every game, the, those settings will be in the registry instead of being in this file. So this is really, the choice is up to you. Folks, thank you so much for following me on this journey. And I hope you learned a little bit today. If you have any questions, folks, the virtual pinball chat is the place to be. We have answers. With over 8,000 members, you can find very specific topics and you can ask questions, post pictures of your projects. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video.